When rescuers found this tiny dog, they realised she'd probably spent most of her life in darkness. Please do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell to receive everything that is new. It's hard to imagine what it's like never to see the light of day. Knowing nothing but darkness and misery, Bree lived her days in fear, surrounded by her own waste, so she must have been terrified when a shape approached her cage, but then her world was bathed in blinding colour. She may be called Bree now, but the little chihuahua didn't always go by that name. In fact, she started her life, if you could call it that, with the name Hemp. However, she also showed signs of having endured terrible levels of abuse that had left her almost broken. Bree's suffering came as a consequence of being treated like an object by her previous owners in Wales, UK. Despite the beautiful countryside they contain Wales as hills, hills hid a sinister secret. They concealed a sadistic puppy mill. In other words, a place where dogs are bred continuously for profit, with no regard for their well-being. What's more, the little chihuahua's body just wasn't capable of withstanding such abuse. Given that she's a teacup dog breed, for her small size, the effort of continuous birthing took its toll on Brie. At just three years old, she had already been forced to have two litters. Furthermore, both of Brie's litters were delivered through C-sections, presumably so that she could have more puppies than her natural threshold would allow. Not only that, but she was also most likely starved at the mill. Inevitably then, her taskmasters thought she was nearing the end of her usefulness. Indeed, the Northern Echo reported that Brie was scheduled to be drowned in a slurry pit. Before the puppy mill would claim another victim, though, a rescue team saved the Chihuahua. The team belonged to a South Wales-based, not-for-profit organisation called Many Tears Animal Rescue, MTAR. When Brie was rescued, the group posted a picture on Facebook of her sat near a can of vegetables. The image highlighted how small the Chihuahua was, but it certainly had a positive effect. A woman named Claire Stocky saw the photo and was smitten, and she knew that she had to give the little dog a home. She could barely see over the top of it as she looked so precarious and vulnerable, Stocky told the dodo in March 2017. She contacted MTAR, who told her about the dog's health problems. However, Stocky was still eager to adopt Brie, and her application was successful. As a testament to her dedication, Stocky set out on a road trip from her home in Durham, England. The journey was 300 miles each way, but the distance did nothing to deter Stocky. When she reached MTAR in Wales and saw the little dog, however, her heart broke. She couldn't believe how much the Chihuahua had suffered. When I saw her, I was shocked. She was emaciated and shaking, Stocky told the dodo. She clung to the lady at the rescue centre, and I wondered for a second if I could really help her. In addition to her obvious malnourishment, Bree's body displayed other evidence of the abuse and neglect that she'd endured. The dog's ears were scabbed up and her limbs were scarred by past injuries. Her legs bent in the wrong way, Stocky told the Northern Echo in April 2017. Stocky added, I'm guessing she has had a break, or a couple of breaks, and they have been left to heal on their own. Moreover, the dog's new owner noticed something else that disturbed her. Brie couldn't even open her eyes when it was light because she was used to darkness, Stocky explained. Although her rescuers can only speculate about the exact details of Brie's past life, it was almost certainly very miserable indeed. Puppy farm breeders are usually kept in cages, often with their puppies, and denied cleanliness and medical care. Moreover, whatever happened had left the Chihuahua shell-shocked. Stocky told the Northern Echo that she could empathise with the dog immediately. I was going through a really bad time with post-traumatic shock and depression after losing my mum, she explained. What's more, on the drive back home, the two bonded immediately. Bree was crouched up at the back of her little carry case, wide-eyed and scared. Stocky told the dodo. I took the front of the case off and all of a sudden, she ran up my stomach and hid her face in my neck. From that point on, Bree had not only found a home, but also a family. Indeed, Stocky's other fur babies, Vesper, Boudicca and Dexter, happily accepted Brie into the pack. Vesper took Brie straight away, as if Brie was her puppy, Stocky recalled. Vesper let Brie do anything, even eat from her food bowl, Stocky continued. She had a phantom pregnancy just one month after I got Brie, and the vet said that Brie made her hormones shoot through the roof. She was even trying to get Brie to suckle like a puppy. She acts very much like a young puppy in many ways, Stocky said. 
Brie is probably experiencing a life free of cruelty for the first time. She races around the house, she plays with toys, chases and throws socks around, and slides along the floor dragging her legs behind her, Stocky added. Brie was named after Brianna of Thrash, a fearless female warrior from the HBO TV series Game of Thrones, and she's living up to her name. Indeed, despite continuing health problems, Brie deals with challenges like a champion and continues living life to the full. She plays with toys and sleeps in her own bed on a soft blanket with access to water. Now she walks off the leash and runs with her brothers and sisters, Stocky explained. She has constant contact with humans who love her and want to protect her. And that last point may be the most important of all. Please share this video with your friends below. Please don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell to receive everything that's new.